Welcome to the Verb Game Skits. I'm your host, Anthony Sealing. This is the game for content creation, where players are the screenwriter, the actor, and the director, creating their own short stories and producing their own short films and video skits. How to play. Players are given one card from each category, film genre, character, and setting. Using those three cards, they must write out the script, act out the skit, and produce their best short film. We invited five actors and content creators to compete for $1,000. Each participant was given their own unique set of cards and the freedom to use whatever props, costumes, actors, and effects they needed to produce the winning short film. Let's go ahead and meet our first player. Hi, this is Vivi Hernandez from Colombia, South America, and I'm super excited to be playing The Verb Game. I'm a professional actress and voiceover artist with over 18 years experience in theater and TV industry. I've worked for online platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. And one of my goals in 2024 is to start my online classes as an acting coach because sharing my knowledge and helping other fellow actors to pursue their dreams, I think is one of the most fulfilling actions for me as an artist. Now that we met our first player, let's cover the rules and how to win. In this contest, players are given four weeks to produce their skit. It must be an original piece of work, and they must incorporate all three cards provided to them. They can use any resources they'd like, as long as there's no copyright infringement. Players are judged on how entertaining their stories are, how well the script is written and performed, overall acting and character embodiment, the effort for adding props, costumes, characters, and effects, the videography, and overall production. The player who can do it the best wins. So without further ado, let's watch the short film produced by Vivi Hernandez titled Moon in Scorpio. You might think that I'm a regular woman, but I'm not. I was blessed with a gift, but I promised myself that I wasn't going to use it to attract love. Until I saw the most beautiful creature at the front desk of a cafe. Simon. So... I broke my promise. He had to be mine. So I waited patiently for the perfect moment. Bingo. My love potion was ready for his coffee. Hey, Tony, don't forget the table five. Hi. Hey, what can I get for you? A cappuccino large, please. Okay. Extra cream? Yep. Cool. And uh, one of those cupcakes? Yeah. Which one? Okay, he turns back. I have to do it now. This one? No. No, okay. The other one. That one. <laughs> this one? No. Oh, no. okay. The one that's behind that one. Yeah. Carrot cake. <laughs> yeah. All right. There you go. Um. Here. You can keep the change. Enjoy it. Thanks. Have a lovely evening. Should I wait and check if he drinks it? No, I have to get out of here. 
Now it's time to see if my magic works on him. And it worked. But even though I was the happiest woman on earth, I had to tell you the truth. I'm a witch. Role play? No. A real one. It's a gift from my family. Cool. I promised myself that I wouldn't use it for love purposes. And then I met you. I said, why not? Let's try it. So I made a potion. A potion? And I put it in your coffee. Hold on. Uh, I don't remember that day that I bought the carrot cake. I'm not under any spell. No, you don't get it. I love you, Sophia. It's all fake. We have to end it. Well, I'm sorry, don't. I can't. No. Sophia! Sophia! I blocked you. I vanished from your life. I didn't want to hurt you. Somehow you found me. And I got your letter. You never took the potion. You accidentally spilled your coffee. So I got you back, Simon. This time for real. And forever. Allow me to introduce our judges. On the left, we have Sam Capri, one of the founding partners of Verve Game. And on the right, we have DJ Rotundo, a creative director from the Sussman Agency. That is yeah. great, yeah. great stuff. There's a lot I like there. I like yeah. uh, the use of editing to help the storytelling along. I thought that was great. I mean, for a skit like this, to do something like that is, is, is pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah, music was there. She did her own singing. Videography was fantastic. Played them both. That was phenomenal. I mean, the yeah. acting all around, like her crying, like, like it's you. I was like, oh my god, yeah. that's my ex right there. I like, have seen that. Oh, nice job, Vivi. We had a wonderful time watching your skit. And if you're in the audience, show her some love and appreciation by dropping a positive note in the comments below. Now we're gonna move on to our next player. We got Natalie Shaw. Hello, my name is Natalie Shaw. I have a background in acting, filmmaking, and creative writing. I am also a big cinephile. I love the movies, I love TV, big film buff over here. I have been making films and acting in them, writing them, etc., etc., since I was a very little kid uh, with my twin sister. We would make films with our little camcorders, and um, now I'm happy to be making a film in this challenge. I love that this uh, game is helping filmmakers and actors and creatives out there uh, make movies that they've always wanted to make. So, thanks for considering me. All right, detective. Start looking for clues. What's that smell? The burning of incense. Oh, wait, no. I just farted. Sorry. You. All right, do you sense anything suspicious? Hmm, I'm sensing a dead body in that prayer room over there. Hmm. Let's check it out. Let's go. Right behind you. Wait, one more cool trick. Wait, me too. Aha! Dead body! Dead body! Huh? Oh, sorry. I was in course pose. Case closed. Nice. <laughs> Very good. A lot of things I liked about that one. I liked the music cuts that kind of really helped like, with the comedy. There was music, and then before he dropped the line about farting, the music cut. And, uh, really kind of helped deliver that line. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot I liked about that one. What did you guys think? The storyline's good. I, you know, I mean, it, it, it worked, and it was short. Probably under three minutes, which is perfect. From a content creator standpoint, 
that's not a bad thing. When you're looking at social media, you could create an entire mm. series. I like the shorts. I, I, you know, if it goes on too long, it's, it's you, you get, you get it. You start flirting with danger the longer you go. Great work, Natalie. That was fantastic. Before we move on to our next episode, let's meet our next player. Hello, my name is Stuart Petty, and I participated in the Verve game by making the video Rendezvous. I started making YouTube videos when I was about 12 years old, and I've been making them on and off ever since. As well as videos, I also like to sing and produce music, and I love my family. Spending time with my family is awesome. I have the opportunity to edit videos and other things for work, but it's been years since I've got to do something so creative. The Verve game categories were the exact push that I needed. And if I win the prize money, I'm gonna be sharing it with Jonathan and Emma who helped me out with this video. That's it for now. In our next episode, we're going to finish watching our final three players. Before we meet our judges and pick a winner, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, share with your family and friends, and we'll see you soon.